digging here a couple of years ago. I think we called it by chance cave because myself, Kirk, somebody whose name I can't quite recall, um, actually happened to be driving past on the road after a visit to a, a well-known local caving spot. And we happen to see this little kind of stream just kind of flowing from the road and into this cavity. So we lost our energy, so we're gonna give it another try at the dig in here. You can actually go in a fair bit and then it gets really tight, but it's only dirt. It looks like a, a layer of rock that's just, just above the cave is very fossiliferous. I'm gonna pull what those things are called. I'm sure by the time I put the video up, I will have identified them then everywhere. Tons of these little fossils. Some of them are quite a bit bigger, but not as neatly, neatly defined or clearly defined. Okay, moving along, being kind of careful of the roof. Don't want to damage anything on the roof. I must admit it's quite a tight fit. Kind of see. Somewhat in my proportions. It's not an easy fit, but I'm doing my best. So I'm just kind of squeezing through here, uh, hoping I can worm back out. I'm trying to get to the groove on the left here where the, where the stream runs. Should be easier crawling. In the distance there is a little hole. Uh, where is it? Yeah, it's in that direction. <clears throat> so we're gonna dig our way in that direction, hopefully reach it. This is what I, this is the best thing to dig with. This little scraper here. Just trying to video and dig at the same time, doesn't work so well. But basically, here we go, making the belly, making the belly crawl. The question is, where does the water go? Can you see where the, the path of the water flows? Well, I think it's all building up back here on the left. Okay. It kind of drops down back there. Might be going down here, actually. Do you think? Any potential for a human-sized passage, or? Make these nice guys. A lot of nice little formations on the roof, eh? Do you have my light with you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Could possibly go back there too. You think so? Why don't you have a look? You're smaller than me. I'm thinking the water may even one run that way. That is possible, you know. Does it look like the channel runs that way? Or does it just flatten out? I mean... It looks like water goes in there a bit too. To the right. I figure that's the way on. Just the bottom's clogged with dirt. But it's got all sorts of formations, little formations in the roof. Be quite a bit of digging. I think we'll get there. If we have the energy. Not today. <laughs> little stalactites. Again, I don't know what I'm filming because I can't see. My head's just squished into the dirt. But I'm hoping it's something nice. That's up on the roof. Curtain forming a bit further on. See that? It's kind of nice. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna point here where I'm getting kind of tired. Backs, my legs are aching. I'm having cramps. I'm thinking about snakes. This is areas rife with the Massasauga rattler. And I've got a fear of snakes. And I must admit, I keep imagining them behind me somewhere. Do you have a right to be paranoid? I don't know. So, looking at this in retrospect, 
I think it's like the end of a blind valley, as in just all around there, and it's just been filled in with these big boulders, whether by farmers or by the glacier, not sure. Sure, it's a, it's a lot larger than it's appearing right now. So I'm just wandering through these sort of overgrown fields, looking for possible cave sinkholes because there's so many in the area. All around that by chance cave that I was digging a little earlier. And just this beautiful, beautiful scent we get. And I, I believe it's apples, apple blossoms. And just, they're all over this field. So it's just the most, just, that smell is just phenomenal. No perfume will match that. Look at these. Some of them are kind of pinkish. Others are a little whiter. Kind of split up. Jeff's just discovered some amazing stuff um, out in the swamps, out in the forest there. Very promising. They're more likely to catch me before they catch you. I got my cow beater here. Hey guys. We're friends. We're good buddies, come on. We're cool. Come on, come and see us. What do you got, Jeff? Do we leave looking at the cave pictures and run like crazy through the fields? Hello. Good cow. He's smelling, looks like he's smelling us, like he's downwind, so he's scenting us like a stalking lion would do. We're surrounded. Cavers killed by cows. Come on buddy. Come and be nice. Come be friends. So is it something you think we can fit in and actually Absol do a crawl? Absolutely. 100%. Is there a name that you're giving it yet? As you, yet. You're always the discoverer and me the doubter? Not yet, eh? It was a trillium on top of it. A trillium? Interesting thought. Okay. The most what? Promising thing I've seen in a while up here. Really, eh? Just a nice, perfect passage. It goes nice, smooth bottom, kind of sharp edges on the side. 